Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how I am using OOP, which is Object Oriented Programming, in my small little project I created for how we can combine elements. So first, let me just showcase again. This is a newer version of the game where we just have these wood elements. We can just simply create some wood elements, drag and drop them around, and we have some iron elements. And whenever our wood and iron elements connect, we create a bluish element. So just very simply, and the main concepts I am using of OOP is that I'm using inheritance, where I have one superclass, which is just called element, which contains all the basic functionality of these components. Then I have iron and wood and bluish classes extend my superclass element and then share the functionality from this abstract superclass. And I'm then also using polymorphism to have a list, which I call active list, active elements. So have a list inside this active element, which is a singleton, which means we can only have one active instance of this class at a time. So we have a list inside a singleton. So one active list containing these elements. And because they all inherit their functionality from the element class, we have this list just contain all these elements. Hope that makes sense, but let's actually have a look at how it's set up in the code. So as mentioned, I have this element class, public abstract class element, which contains all the basic functionality. So our superclass element is abstract, which means it can't be initialized. So it just contains all the basic functionality, and then we inherit it inside our iron and wood and bluish classes. As so, so we have our public class wood extend element. Then we simply use a super keyword to access the constructor from our superclass. Then input in this case, because our superclass constructor takes in element type and anchor pane. So what type is the current element going to be and on which anchor pane is this going to be placed? So for our wood, we just simply put element type wood and it's going to be placed on somewhere which needs to be passed to this element whenever it's created. And we then simply a color which actually doesn't matter because we're overriding this how it looks by setting an image which is the textures we just saw and we then do this for both our wood element and our iron element and our bluish element and because of this it is actually going to end up being very simple and very quick so for example inside match handler when we want to create some wood we just simply create a wood element and add or tell it which scene we need to put it on and then we add it to our active elements list, which I talked about previously, which was the list inside a singleton. So active elements is this class, which is going to be a singleton because we have a private static instance. We then have a private constructor. We then say first time this constructor is called or first time this get instance method is called on this class to create the class create an instance if the instance already exists just return the instance otherwise go look up singletons they're quite useful and quite interesting but that's not the point of what i'm talking about today so polymorphism polymorphism it's when we in this case have a linked list containing elements so something of the type element but because for example iron or wood extends the element class they can also be put inside this list so we are then allowing the system to have multiple different objects inside one list because they're all inheriting the basic functionality from this element class and that is the basics of polymorphism so to make this easier or make the setup in general cleaner we're using inheritance just have all the functionality inside element then extending it inside iron and wood and bluish so we do not need to have duplicate code where if we didn't do it this way we'd need to have all the same setup as this setup inside all these different classes but we don't need that because we're just using inheritance and then also polymorphism makes everything quite a bit easier we can just have one list that contain all the elements even though they're different because they're all inheriting their functionality from the element abstract class so all of this might seem a bit confusing it might seem like a lot of setup, but in the long term, it's actually going to be very, very useful and make everything quite a bit cleaner and just helps creating structure and keeping a structure on the setup. So I hope you at least got 
a better understanding of how, like in this, we have an active, active example of how we can use OOP with inheritance and polymorphism. So if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.